Um, I'd like to introduce you to one of our latest controllers, which is the FAN 9612 Interleaved Boundary Conduction Mode PFC Controller. Um, we believe, we're excited about this product because we believe it is the best solution for power factor correction in the power range 300 watts to 1 kilowatt. Um, what we do, um, the basic operation here is we take two channels of boundary conduction mode power factor correction and we interleave them 180 degrees out of, out of phase and as a result of that we get ripple current cancellation on the input which helps a great deal with the filtering. On the oscilloscope traces you can see the bottom trace is the inductor current or the input current for a single phase and then when we add the two phases together we get the upper trace, the blue, the blue trace, the input current for the entire circuit. And you can see that the blue trace, uh, that input current does not come all the way back to zero. That's our ripple current cancellation. And it's considerably easy to filter than the boundary conduction mode single channel. So we've designed this controller with three objectives in mind. One is very high efficiency, another is low cost, and the third is ease of use or robust performance. So uh, how do we do this? First, uh, high efficiency couple of examples. One is what we call valley switching. We take advantage of the natural resonance that occurs before the turn on of the main switches in the powertrain and we, we actually look at the slope of the drain to source voltage and we turn it on right when that voltage is at a minimum. Uh, that reduces our switching losses considerably. Uh, another example of efficiency is down at light load, we turn off one of the two channels so we eliminate the switching losses and boost our light load efficiency. So that's a couple of ways we've improved the efficiency. Uh, the uh, low cost, probably the single biggest cost savings here is the rectifier diodes. Because we are using boundary conduction mode, there's no reverse recovery in the output diodes and that means we can use low cost diodes instead of something high performance and high cost like silicon carbide. So up the power levels as high as one kilowatt, we're using inexpensive diodes and we're getting very high efficiency. Uh, this circuit runs about 97% about, uh, efficient at European line voltage and over 96% efficient at US line voltage. Uh, so so that's, um, that's efficiency, that's uh, low cost. Another example of cost savings is you'll notice the yellow input inductors because we're using boundary conduction mode. Those inductors can be quite small. In fact, you could probably make them smaller than what we're showing here. But the inductance only needs to be about one-tenth of what it would be for a continuous conduction mode converter in the same power range. So a couple of examples of the cost savings. Finally, the ease of use. Um, our interleaving 180 degrees out of phase is very robust, uh, stays 180 degrees out of phase through all kinds of transients. Uh, also, we have many protection functions built in, input brownout protection. We have a second independent channel of output overvoltage protection. Uh, we have closed loop soft start, which prevents the typical overshoot you would get when this type of converter starts up. Uh, numerous numerous uh, other features which I don't have time to go into today but uh, as you can see uh, we believe that this uh, in fact some of our customers tell us that in fact in this power range uh, 300 watts to 1 kilowatt that this is the lowest cost highest performance solution available.